Shalom. First of all, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rukakadash. Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Only give it up honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Who has taught me the truth. Only give it peace and blessings to the eye. Came across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth and risk their life to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Low when the video is edifying. Low when I can get something from this video. Uh, it's a quick video on transit, man. Um, one thing I was thinking about and I was talking about for the last couple of days was. Uh, um, especially earlier, uh, was that um, fearing the Lord is, is a necessity for one's life. Um, you know, a lot of people, uh, what you notice when you come in this truth, the difference between, you know, you and this truth and, and the people in the world is that they think that the Lord, it's a choice to serve the Lord. They think that um, Israelites I'm talking about, they think that, uh, you know, the Israelites that are in church and all that, they think that, uh, um, you know, that they have a tit for tat type of, you know, spirit. Like, okay, well, I'm serving the Lord. You know what I mean? I'm going to go to church. I'm doing good. Right. So, uh, you know, I'm doing good. So I'm going I'm to get good. I'm going to receive good. And they make it seem like serving the Lord is a, you know, is a choice. And, and you know, I had a conversation with, a conversation was had in front of me the other day. Um, and this lady was like, you know, yeah, you could follow. She was telling my uh, woman, it was her sister. She was like, you could follow um, the laws. Because my woman was explaining, you know, how, you know, how we follow the laws. Because her sister is like a huge churchgoer, right? Like an avid churchgoer. So she was explaining to her sister, like, you know, oh, he followed the laws. And, you know, to the best of his abilities. And, you know, we, we try to keep it to the best of our ability. And her sister was like, well, you know, if you're Jewish... <laughs> You can follow the law, you know, but we're saved by grace. We're not, uh, we're saved by grace. We're not, um, which means we don't have to keep the law. And, you know, that's, 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 even though, you know, that's BS, you know, and her sister, you know, is to be blamed, but at the same time, their leader, right? Their leader, whoever's teaching them that in those churches that they go to, that, you know, her and her husband go to, um, is lying to, and lying to the flock, lying to his flock. Okay, they're lying to you. They're lying to you, right? You follow these church leaders and these pastors and these deacons and all that shit. They're gonna lead you right into damnation, right? Teaching that bullshit. Oh, you can follow it. You can keep the laws if you want to. What do you mean if you want to? Paul said, "Do we do we make void the law through through grace?" Brother paraphrasing the scripture, he said, "God forbid." We establish the law. So what does that mean? That means that we keep the law to the best of our abilities. Yeah, we're in captivity. We get it. We're in captivity. But that don't mean we don't try to keep it to the best of our abilities. That don't mean you say, fuck it. No, the things you can keep, you keep. The things you can't keep, you can't keep. And that's where grace comes in. You think the Lord is going to give, show mercy on a person who willingly going off? Who think that they could, you know, that they could, uh, that they could pick and choose with, law they gonna serve and pick and choose whether they want to serve the law or or do the law or abide by the law no the law is the perfect way to live why wouldn't you want to abide by it okay but these people they have a warped mentality they have a warped version of the scriptures which is being taught to these people which the blood is on her teacher's hands Because you're teaching these people, well, oh, yeah, I mean, we don't got to, we ain't got to keep it, we ain't got to, yeah, okay, yeah, right. What you mean you ain't got to keep it? You know, yes, you got to keep it to the best of your ability. You know, but I, I said this, you know, my woman was explaining it to me once we got in the car, and I said this, I said, listen, man, the Lord chooses people. You can't choose the Lord even if you wanted to. The Lord, she can't choose the Lord even if she wanted to. The Lord chooses people. And this, this goes to show you when people try to choose the Lord, this is what happens. They end up in these church houses going to fuck off. The Lord chooses you, man. The Lord picks you. Whether you want to be picked or not, the Lord calls you, man. And once you're called, you have a duty to do. Look at Jonah. He tried to run away from it. And he was swallowed by a big, a big fish. He was in the belly of hell for three days. Trying to run. 
No. Once you become aware, now there's no excuse. You got to teach it. The scriptures say what? It was better that if you uh, that if you never heard the truth than to, than to hear it and not do it. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture. But you can't have a warped. You can't have America mixed with the Bible in your no, because uh, the Bible is completely against America. Actually, it talks about America being destroyed. It prophesies America being destroyed. So it says, "What the fashion of, of this, the fashions of this world shall pass away." What does that mean? If the fashions of this world shall pass away, don't you think it's wicked? Job nine twenty four. The earth is give, uh, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. Right? If the fashion of this world is going to pass away. That means the Lord is not pleased with it. That means the Lord is against it. When you go to Psalms 58 and 3, it talks about the poison being, uh, and 58 and 3 on down, it talks about the poison being spread. The poison of these devils has been spread. Okay, they got you, they got you, they got these, you know, people in these churches thinking that they, it's a choice to serve. It's a choice whether you want to follow the law or not. No, it's not. It's not, man. It's not We're saved by grace. What do you mean? So you can just accept Jesus and be and be saved. That, how does that work? How does that work? That doesn't work. You know, and these people think his name is Jesus, and you tell them that he, he's the same type of people where you tell them the name isn't Jesus. They're like, oh well, you know, he knows my heart. He he, he goes by any name. How? And you don't even go by any name. If I call you Michael and your name is Henry, you ain't gonna answer to Michael. You're gonna answer to Henry. If I call you Michelle, and your name is Marissa, you ain't gonna answer to Michelle. You're gonna answer to Marissa. Period. So the Lord, you think the Lord is different? The one who created all of us, you think he's you think you could just call him by any name? You tripping. You gotta call on the right name, man. Right? We gotta call on the right name. Scripture say what? In the land of our captivities, we should remember ourselves, we should think upon his name. So it's important. It's important. The name is important, man. You know? But yeah, you know, I just wanted to say that. You know, I was having that conversation the other day. I'm just like. Yeah, these people don't have any idea, you know, uh, you know, what the scriptures are talking about. And but how shot they actually how shot he said, why do you speak to them in parables? He said, because it's given unto them to understand, not for the world. So if you just who, who is he talking about? Who is he talking? About? He's talking about the elect and a one third. That's what he's talking about. Right, the elect men. Okay, which would be his joint heirs. Okay, that's that, man. Not if you accept them, then, then you're saved. Saved from what? The scriptures say, uh, uh, what does it say? It says, uh, and we are not saved. Things in Jeremiah, if I'm not mistaken. You know, nah, man. What? The Hebrews 10. And 31 on down, what does it say? It says what? It, that you might receive the promise. I think it's 34, if I'm not mistaken. Hebrews 10 34. It says that you might receive the promise. Cast not away there for your confidence, that which have a great recompense or reward. Right? That you might so if the righteous up scarcely be saved. What about the wicked? What about those saying, oh, you, you can choose back if you want to follow the law or not? Nah, man. Serving the Lord isn't a game. And serving the Lord is is the whole duty of a man. It's not a tit for tat game. We didn't create ourselves. The Lord created us. But these people have this pride. But pride is the beginning of of of, 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 of a fall. The Lord hate what? Why is man proud? We can't even we can't even save ourselves. What the fuck are we proud for? You know. And anytime you anytime you feel proud, you just gotta rebuke that demon, man. Rebuke it, cause sometimes it'll creep up. Shit, it'll creep up. You gotta rebuke that shit. Uh, what pride, prideful? What? 
prideful. Yeah. You can't even save yourself out. Being proud for what? Fuck who the fuck is you proud for, man? You know, but yeah, man, you know, just, you know, not to ramble too much, but that's the, the, the that's the distinct difference between the ones in the truth and the ones in the world. The ones in the world think that, the ones in the world think that, you know, it's a choice. It's not a choice. This is the duty of a, this is the duty of an Israelite man as a serve the Lord keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our abilities. Teach and preach this word if you're a prophet. Help when you can. Okay, help brothers when, when you can, man. Be brotherly. Show brotherly love, man. All right? Give alms. All right? You know, worry about the fruits of the spirit, man. You know, having temperance, being patient. Okay? Not, you know, being so quick to be mad and angry. and You know what I mean? Nah, man. Although, you know, we live in a society where, yeah, you will get mad, you will get angry, but, you know, it, it ain't good to walk around like that all day. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Because you you putting hell, more hell on yourself than what you have to. Nah, don't do that. Be so fucking negative. In a world, you know, we might have come from a negative background, right? But we ain't, we can't be so negative, man. You know? Can't be so negative. So, yeah, man, just with that, um, Lord, when the video is edifying, Lord, when I came God's sermon from this video, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakadash. I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing on to the next. Shalom.